Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And um, in hopes that this might be a more approachable puzzle than some of the ones I've done lately, this is Walking in a Circle by Fractal Minding. Now, I'm going off a very high approval rating on Logic Masters Germany and a quite low difficulty rating, but these things are often seem to be sent to try us, so I'm hoping that um, I've not been blindsided. But we will see how walking in a circle goes. I'll get to the rules in a moment. Don't forget that on Patreon, um, this month's, so the 1st of August, new content. And it's a new Sudoku hunt, and it's an absolutely fantastic pack by Skojo, Jojo, and Jobo. I mean that. And Skojo, Jojo, and Jobo have used their names in every puzzle, and it's an absolutely fantastic pack. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, I think the puzzles in it are amazing. So that's Patreon for you. There's all sorts of other content on Patreon, of course. Difficult cross, um, yeah, difficult crosswords, difficult Sudokus, and all sorts of other things in between. So the occasional free pack, um, other packs, just loads of brilliant content. Do check it out. It's great stuff. Now um, that's Patreon. There's all of our apps which feature. Thermo Sudoku and Line Sudoku um, and will one day feature Fog of War Sudoku but they don't yet. Um, maybe by the time you're watching this they do but check out the links to our apps under the video because that'll take you to the CTC app, um, the, the global CTC app which is free and then you can download the, the paid packs if you want or indeed there's one or two free packs but check it out there's some great stuff there. Now, um, there's also, of course, two more things to mention, our merchandise and Sven's Sudoku pad. Um, and those are well worth your investigation too. So look at the links under the video. The first one though is to this puzzle, Walking in a Circle by Fractal Minding, with whose name I am not familiar. Um, and I'm gonna do the rules now. So we've got a six by six Sudoku. So the normal Sudoku rules that apply to this are putting one to six in every row every column and every two by three box. Now it says a pink Renban line. I might call this color purple, but let's not argue the toss about that. This, the Renban lines, which are pink or purple, contain a set of non-repeating consecutive digits in any order. So this might, for instance, say three, five, four on it. Digits along a yellow thermometer increase from the bulb end. So this one might go one, two, four, six. Each pair of adjacent digits along a teal line. Ah, the teal line is not appearing as teal. So it'll be a grey line in my puzzle. By the time you solve this, the lines will indeed be at least blue. Um, and every pair of adjacent digits along these other thinner lines, grey for me, consist of one, every pair of adjacent digits is one even and one odd. So they're kind of parity alternation lines then. Now, part of the grid is covered with fog and as digits get placed correctly, the fog will clear from surrounding cells to reveal additional clues. So it's a fog of war in a six by six. How tough can it be? We will find out. Give it a try on the first link under the video. Watch out for the color of the lines which may change from what you see on my screen but I'm going to try it now. Let's get cracking. So I want to combine the parity line rule and this thermo. So let's let's good lift the thermo, put all the possible candidates in each cell because we have to increase between one and six now. It could go one, two, three, four. Could this be a five? If this was a five, oh, that's quite interesting. If this was a five, it would have to go five, then even four, then odd three, then even two. So there's only one combination that works if it starts even at the bulb. Now, this teal line continues all the way around. So the odd even pattern runs all the way along the bottom row into that cell. So this Renban, which is three consecutive digits. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know what parity applies. So do I need to think? I don't know. This is difficult. I don't really know how to get started here yet. Ah, OK. Let's use these candidate markings of 3, 4, 5 and 4, 5, 6 to determine that this line, which originally had four possibilities, two of those are ruled out. One of those that's ruled out is 6, 5, 4 because it would break this cell. One that's ruled out is 5, 4, 3 because it would break this cell. So this line either contains 2, 3, 4 or 1, 2, 3. And it definitely contains the digits 2 and 3. And then we don't have 3 in the corner. And that means we don't have 4 in that cell because it wouldn't be bigger. And now since one of these is odd, that one is a 5. And now this digit can only be 1, 4 or 6. I have a feeling I'm not approaching this very methodically, but what I've said is nonetheless true. Now, if that was a 1, this would be 2, 3, 4. This would go 6, 5, even, odd. If this was a 4, this would be a 1, 2, 3, and this would go 6, 5, even, odd. And if this was a 6, well, then we'd be in the situation where this was 1, 2, 3, and that would go 5, 4. So, yeah, that hasn't actually buttered any parsnips for me. That hasn't finished me off in any way. 2 and 3 are on this line. How does that help? And this, this line continues up to here. Maybe it's worth actually colouring the... You know, I don't know whether I'm colouring evens in green or odds and vice versa for purple, but I do know that they... Oh, I don't love the green there because it obscures the line. Um, let's try yellow, purple and yellow. No, that seems to obscure... Oh, no, it's the fog that's obscuring the line. I'll go back to green. I'm sorry, I'm being a doofus. Right. Now, there's no thermo. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing something. There is a five in one of these cells, but I don't see how that's relevant. If that's a 4, okay, what happens if this is a 4? The parity alternation means that's a 5, that's a 1, that's a 3. Oh, this doesn't work at all. That's why that doesn't work. Well, that was a great question to ask. If that's a 4, then this is odd because of the parity alternation. And then 6 can't go anywhere. Yes. Okay, the simplest thing is, where does 6 go in this bottom row? It goes in green. So green is therefore even. That's how to do it. And purple is therefore odd. So blue for even, orange for odd. That's what we normally do. And now this has to be a 5. And this has to be a 6. And that's clearing fog, so it's right. Um... I mean, it's right. Anyway, that can't be 3. This is even. That can't be 2 because it's odd. This is even as well. So we know quite a lot of things there. Now, we don't know whether that's 1 or 4 yet. Yes, we do, because 1 and 3 are in those two cells because they're odd. So that's a 1-3 pair. This is 2 to join them up. And that's 4 in the corner. And now... So we've got a lot more of these teal lines organised. Well, um, not organised, but, but shown. Right, the, the even one of these two digits, and there must be one, is a 6. So this line now consists of 6, 5, 4, and that puts a 2 here. And then these are 1 and 3, and I should be colouring them as I go because parity is clearly important. Now, the, this, there is a line, a, a grey line through these for me, teal for you. So that is two blues and one orange, which is five. And these lines continue, so we can keep parity colouring. Orange blue, blue there. That much is what I've been told by the parity colours, by the lines. Okay, and I don't now have any more 
yellow or purple lines revealed. So I'm going to have to think of some other way to deal with this. That's 2 or 4. This is 2 or 6. This is 4 or 6. This one could be any even digit. There's one even and one odd here. So there's one even and one odd there, one even and one odd there, one even and one odd there. It's tempting to believe the checkerboard pattern pervades the whole grid, but that's, we mustn't give in to temptation, not even if we follow Oscar Wilde's dictum. Um, yeah, it's a strange one. I don't... Oh, thermo. That's a one. Okay, that's not that strange. Now, this is odd. And now we've got fog revealed, which does allow us to keep carrying on the checkerboard colouring. Um, this one I'm colouring not because of I know the line goes into it, but because I've had three oranges in the column already. Same there with three blues. Now, that is a three because it's all the only odd digit remaining. Yes, okay, in the column. That is, though, two or four. This is one or five now. This is three or five. Now, we've got a thermo showing there. So it comes from here. It can't be a one there. So that's a five. That's a three. I can be confident I'm picking up the right clues now because that was all there was to see at that point. Um, now, that's coloured orange suddenly. Checkerboard continues unabated. This is not a six, but that's not helped. Well, that's not a six either. That is quite interesting. Where does six go in this box? It doesn't go here because of the thermo, and it doesn't go here because of the line. In fact, the line allows me to color those and indeed these. This line, both lines look like they're perfect squares, but we will see. So the six goes here. That's what I just discovered. That's a four. That's a two. That's a four. This is two and one, and the parity tells me which way round they go. This is a five-six pair, and nothing is telling me which way round they go. Now, that has become orange from the line and that blue, so the checkerboard certainly pervades throughout the whole perimeter and the inner perimeter, if I can call it that, which I can't. Six there, five and two, just using the parity. Four there, one in the corner three there. That's now a six by Sudoku. That's a five. This is a six. And the we know these by parity, two and three. Then by Sudoku, I can do one and four and six. And it's going to be five here. Just before I do that, let's finish off the parity colouring. It was not checkerboard for the whole puzzle, but that is the solution. And that is nice and straightforward, but great fun. A very entertaining idea from Fractal Minding. Thank you very much, Fractal Minding. Excellent, and welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching. Do check out that Patreon um, reward, and see you soon. Bye for now.